Hey, what's up guys, Mike Redfox. In this video, we're gonna go over the latest progress towards unlocking NVIDIA's LHR GPUs. So the latest G minor and latest law minor bring progress towards unlocking all the LHR GPUs just a little bit more. So if you see my previous video, we covered NB minor. And though these miners do very similar performance in terms of unlocking hash rate, there seems at least up front that there's a little bit of wattage that can be saved on the graphics cards. We're going to test all of that in a little bit. But first, just to go over my setup here, See my test bench. The card that we're going to be testing in this video is an RTX 3080 Ti. You can see I have it there. It's an EVGA for the win three. I also have my watt meter set up on camera. So we'll be able to see that on screen in a little bit. And that's going to be really important in this video because the way that these miners handle unlocking the LHR part of the graphics card, the limiter, is interesting and you'll see how that comes into play with the wattage reading in a little bit. And I have just the graphics card and its riser powered by the server power supply. The whole rest of the system is on its own ATX power supply. So we know that all the readings at the wall are pretty accurate. And when we see, or we're gonna see when I start mining on G minor and law minor that it's gonna be an accurate reading as well. So we're gonna get dive in. I'm gonna show you what the updates are. We'll get testing them on this card. Then I'll give you some of my thoughts here at the end. So what you're looking at first is the latest G minor update. That's 2.67. And this update gives a partial LHR unlock without additional power consumption. And this is true for both the original LHR card, which is the nerfed version one RTX 3060. That's the one that you could that develop, use a development driver on and do a couple more things to get the full unlocked hash rate in Windows. And then for all the other cards, it gives this LHR Tune 1 and LHR Tune 2 in order to unlock the cards and it needs the latest NVIDIA drivers, et cetera, et cetera. And there's really not a lot of other information provided here, but I'll show you some other additional tweaks that you can do with the new LHR Tune when we get into Hive OS and start testing this GPU. Now the second release that came out around the same exact time was Law Miner. This is 1.32a. And for Law Miner, it's a lot of the same progress that's made. And it's this first came out on Linux. It actually gives you specific drivers that it recommends using. Uh, we're gonna go in here, and I'll leave links to all this in the description below. We're gonna look at the new LHR Semi Unlock that this has. And you can see it has a, a couple modes. So it has LHR1, which you would use for that 3060 that I was just talking about before. And then it has LHR2, which seems just like G minor and MB minor would unlock about 70%, little under 70% of the potential of the card. And in this case, they've tested it all with a lock core clock at 1500 megahertz. The mode that I was most interested in with Law Miner, we're definitely gonna take a look at this, is this low power LHR mode. And it says it's specifically recommended for the 3080 Ti, which is exactly what we're gonna be testing. And when you look at this mode, what it's asking you to do is lock the core clock below the values listed here to get some low power savings when mining with an LHR GPU. Because one of the things that we've seen with NB Miner and we'll see with G minor, and we'll see with mode LHR2 with law minor is that it requires so much wattage to unlock LHR on these GPUs that it just, it really isn't worth it. And I think we're getting a little closer and closer and closer as these updates come, but I'll save some of my opinions uh, for the end here. So there's additional tweaking you can also do just like in G minor with these modes. Uh, and we'll go over that once we start mining. So what we're gonna do now is switch over to Hive OS, and we're gonna take a look at G Miner first, and then we'll take a look at Law Miner. Okay, so we're in Hive, and you can see this is my EVGA RTX 3080 Ti on here. And you can see what it's doing right now, it's doing 83 mega hash on this 3080 Ti, which again is about 70% of what we think is the true unlocked capability of this GPU. And if we switch over to the shell here, you can see in G minor, in the software, 
that I'm reporting that 83 mega hash. But what you also see on your screen here is the wattage reporting. What you'll notice is that wattage reporting both in G minor itself and over in Hive is just is not accurate to what's this GPU is actually pulling at the wall. So I've seen some people get real excited about what the progress has been here and what the efficiency gap being closed means. But realistically, when we're looking right now, you can see we're pulling 230 watts at the wall and that spikes up to 100, 330 watts and then goes back down. And that's going to be consistent amongst G minor and as well as law minor when we get to it. It does these spikes. And so you might see in the software either that lower reading or sometimes just a completely different reading. Like the G minor on your screen is reporting 200 watts. This is nowhere close to 200 watts. It never gets to 200 watts. So I think there's just something going on in translating the actual pull of the graphics card at the wall to the software and typically nvidia is really accurate but in this case from whatever magic is happening in the miner in the code it's just not reading that power accurately so it's really important before you decide to say this lhr unlock is great there's so little wattage i'm just going to do it really want to read this stuff at the wall with a watt meter a kilowatt or some other means so what yeah so what you can see is the realistic wattage reading on average is kind of hard to get a tell on, but somewhere between 230 and then it spikes all the way up. So it's still a lot, right? You guys can do the math and figure out the averages. I can't do that right now off the top of my head, but it's still quite a bit. And that's what made me really excited to switch over and test this low power mode for specifically a 3080 Ti over on Law Miner. So what we're going to do first is we're going to switch over to Law Miner. We're going to check out LHR2, see how that stacks up versus G Miner here, and then we'll go test that low power mode and see if that saves us any amount of wattage on this GPU. So I've switched everything over to Law Miner. You can see it mining here. I'm hitting 84, 85 mega hash on this RTX 3080 Ti. And the first thing you'll probably notice is the wattage that's being read on my watt meter. Right now, we're bouncing around between around 290 watts all the way up to the spikes of 330 watts to get that 85 mega hash. And I follow the instructions provided here to lock the core clock at 1500 megahertz. That's what I've done. I have my memory at 2600, and that's what this is giving me. So already you notice a little bit more hash rate but at the expense of more wattage being pulled using Law Miner. You can continue to tweak this a little bit further, and you can actually do this with G Miner 2. If you go down to the tuning section of Law Miner, you can add this extra argument here, dash dash LHR tune, and then you can put a value after it, whether that's 5, 10, 20. You can also go negative on that value. And if you go positive, it's trying to give you a little more performance out of that GPU, and you can add and add and add until the limiter kicks in. Or you can go negative if the limiter is already kicking in on the default value and go negative on it to try to avoid the limiter kicking in and reducing your performance just a little bit. G Miner has this as well. And I'll be honest, I tried it for both Law Miner and G Miner, and I didn't see a significant enough of an improvement when I was testing it. Maybe you guys have different results. Let me know in the comments section down below. The other thing that I want to say about Law Miner versus G Miner. So in G Miner, and we'll leave it up here just in case it happens, but in G Miner, if the limiter kicks in, it will just put the GPU at the limited hash rate and continue to mine on that until you step in and get it going again. One of the things that Law Miner will do is if it detects the limiter, it will actually let you know and then let you know that it's attempting to work against it and get your hash rate improved again. It's going to continue to tune the GPU to try to avoid the limiter. So that's a really nice benefit to Law Miner is it will fight it. And we're leaving these GPUs running. We're not monitoring all the time. So having that built in allows you to step away and know hopefully that Law Miner will do the job to get it back up to its 70% hash rate. What I'd really like to do now is switch over to my favorite mode, and that is going to be LHR LP, light hash rate, low power mode, and that's recommended for the 3080i, which is exactly what I have in there. We're gonna follow the instructions here, and what we're gonna do is change the core clock 
to 1150. I'm going to change the argument to dash dash mode LHR LP. And what we're going to do is pay attention to the wattage at the wall and pay attention to our hash rate in the minor. So again, we're, we're about 290 up to 330. And in the minor, we're hitting 85, 84 mega hash. So let me get it switched over. I'll let it mine for a little bit and then we'll check right in. You can see my flight sheet here in Hive OS. I've changed the mode to dash dash mode LHR LP. I've also changed my lock core clock down to 1150. I left my memory clock exactly the same. And you can see here in Law Miner, we're hitting 83 mega hash. So a little bit less mega hash, but what we are doing is definitely saving some power. So we're sitting now around 260 watts and then we're spiking up to about 315. So saving, I don't know, 20 watts, maybe 30 watts. You guys can do the math, can't do the math right now uh, with low power mode. So this is the mode that I actually ran for about 12 hours uh, overnight last night to test before making this video. And it was stable. I came back in the morning, I checked in my Hive OS. This is probably it actually right here. And you can see I just sustained that 83 mega hash uh, until the morning when I did some more testing and I even checked on Ethermine at the pool and it did report that steady 83 mega hash. So for me, this has been the most stable. It didn't lock at all, but again, that wattage, it's lower, but it's still really intense. So let's, uh, let's wrap this one up. All right, guys, so that's it. Those are the latest updates, the latest progress made in the land of light hash rate graphics card. So NB minor was first. I'll link to my previous video on that. Followed up sh uh, by G minor, and then very shortly after, or the same time, law minor. And if you look on the surface, they may look pretty close as far as what they're doing performance wise, but at least in the testing I've done, it looks like on this specific card, the low power mode is the best LHR performance we've gotten yet. If you've done testing, I'm sure many of you have done this testing out there. It's a lot of fun. Let me know what kind of performance you are getting, especially if you can measure it at the wall. I've tried with the recommendation of some others, besides setting my core, uh, absolute core clock and Hive OS, I've even tried setting power limits, but nothing stops it from spiking up. And what some people in the community have said is that is the core doing whatever kind of magic it's doing to get around the limiter and give us the 70% about hash rate. I'll leave links to everything down in the description below. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hit the like button if you did. Subscribe for more content on GPU mining. Join my Discord if you want to chat, share your hash rates, share your settings. Link is in the description below. And as always, please take care of yourself, take care of each other, and I'll see you in the next video.